Welcome. In this video, we're going to take a more detailed look at the reviews feature within Pivotal Tracker and how you can use it to supplement or add on to the out of the box workflow within Tracker and capture and show all of the different work that's going on to stories in parallel. So in here, there is the option, once you have created a story and saved it, you will have the option to add a review. There are four out of the box review types. Those types are test QA, design, code, and security. Beneath that, you'll see that I've added some custom types of metrics, done, and risk. Beneath that is the option to manage review types. If you click that, here you'll have the option to add whatever custom review types you would like. If you have one that you are done with, I can simply hide that. So for example, if I'm done with done, um, I can put that here. And then if I want to bring it back, I can click show and it will come back. So we don't have the ability yet to remove them, but you can choose which ones are visible and which ones are hidden. If you would like, if some of these out of the box ones are ones that you're not going to use. So for example, maybe I choose not to use security or I choose not to use test QA um, or you're not going to use any of the out of the box types, you would just like to use your own. Again, you can choose to hide those and then they will drop down to the bottom and you'll just see the, the ones that you want. So I'm gonna go back to my story and let's say that we have decided that for our purposes, we're going to add a, a code review and a design review and maybe this is one that we're rather worried about. So we're actually going to add two test QA reviews and you can add more than one. But we want two people from our QA environment to both take a look at this. You can add your reviewer. So maybe for the code review, um, I'm going to have um, Joe look at that. I'm going to have my designer look at the design review. I'm going to have my tester look at that one and maybe I'll look at this one. And note that when you collapse the story, you can see all of the different types that are there along with their status. A open circle is a review type that has not yet been started. The three dots indicates a review that is currently in progress. A green check mark indicates a review that is passed, and we'll take a look at the red X next that shows you one that has not passed. If you have a review that you've decided you no longer need, there is the option to delete a review if you want to remove it. So let's say that our developer has come in and started our code review. They can click on in review. And then again, when we collapse it, we'll now see that status. They can then come in and say perhaps that this did not actually meet our coding standards. So they can click on rev revise to let the team know that this did not actually meet um, or it did not actually pass. So we can send it back um, for revision so that it can be fixed. So did not meet style guide or whatever reason we might be that we are sending that back for revision. So when you enter that comment, if you come down to your activity feed, that will actually be documented in there automatically. So whoever, um, whoever did it, um, but code review set to revise and then whatever comment you left is all there. So the developer can come back in, make whatever revisions they need to, react to that comment if they want and go, okay, I got it. So they can give it a thumbs up once they have fixed it. And then the developer can come in and say, okay, I'm going to come in and review it again. Um, now that you've given me the thumbs up and let me know that it's ready to be looked at and say, okay, perhaps this time it has passed. It's good to go now. So we can enter that in as a comment and then that comment will be entered as well. Then the development phase has passed. Um, we'll assume that at some point 
our design review has also passed um, probably before the code review actually um, and we'll go ahead and finish this story um, it's perhaps been delivered so it's ready for QA to take a look at um, they're going to go ahead and do their testing so this is now in progress for them to look at um, should they find a problem they can again revise it going through the same process that we just saw um, if that passes they can put their comment in but these things can be happening in parallel um, and when you assign somebody as a reviewer they will get a notification I don't happen to have any right here um, but you would get a notification via in-app notification email notification or if you have it set up you can get it via slack and then when it's been revised if you are a follower on this story or an owner of the story, you'll get notifications there as well. So you can configure your notifications via your user profile and determine via what mechanisms you want to get notified. But the reviews really do work in conjunction with the out of the box workflow. And now that all of our reviews have passed, our PM is ready to accept or reject the story. In this case, they will go ahead and accept it because it meets the acceptance criteria and it passed the QA audit. So that gives you a more in-depth look on the reviews, creating the reviews, managing your custom review types, and how they supplement the out-of-the-box tracker workflow. Please do check out our other tracker workflow videos so that you can learn even more. Thanks for watching.